five signs of a bad detox. Listen, we're all looking for detoxes these days or a cleanse, and we wanna do something healthy for ourselves. So we might just be inclined to jump into the next latest and greatest, some kind of a fad diet, or something that you think everybody else is doing that might be working for them. But I'm gonna give you five tips of things to avoid when it comes to a cleanse or a detox. The first thing is high sugar juices. Juice cleanses are all the rage, but I promise you, if you're not being careful, you're going to actually end up throwing your blood sugar completely off. So you wanna avoid the high sugar, high sugar juices. You can do things like um, vegetable cleanses or vegetable juices, juiced vegetables like kale and celery and cucumber, but try to avoid the really high greens like kale and spinach, because those can cause their own problems if you have a history of kidney uh, stones or bladder stones. The second thing is, anything that causes starvation. So a lot of people are doing intermittent fasting and you wanna be able to intermittent fast with the guide of a medical professional or someone who can actually tell you exactly how to set up your intermittent fasting. You don't just wanna go into fasting just thinking again, because your neighbor did it, that it was successful for them. Because if you have issues with blood sugar or a gut issue, it may not actually be the best program for you. So be mindful of this. Number three, anything that claims to be a miracle cure. Listen, I promise you, there are no miracles out there and you've gotta be able to do the work. If you are not already diving in to your, your eating habits, your exercise, are you laying around? Do you need to move your body? Do you need to think better? You've gotta start diving into that and stop chasing the next miracle cure. There are no miracles, you've gotta do the work. The next thing is anything packaged foods. Now I'm not talking about some of these meals that come to your door that you can then prep yourself, like good healthy meals. There's a lot of great services out there. What I'm talking about is pre-packaged food that is just as bad as processed foods. So be really mindful of those. They can have a lot of toxic ingredients in them, including monosodium glutamate, and some other, other things, preservatives that we don't want and anywhere in our bodies. And then the last thing would be anything claiming to be a one trick pony. How about this potato diet? Have you seen this? So nothing, there's no one food that can be a miracle. Now, there are some studies around potatoes and what potatoes can do for health and weight loss, but that is not sustainable. That does not help you change your, healthy, your, your sick habits into healthy habits. So avoid anything that causes this one trick pony syndrome. And by all means, start taking a microscope. There is no miracle cure or cleanse until you look at your own life and you start making the changes that are gonna be foundational to giving you a better life tomorrow. Start cleaning up the sugar, start cleaning up your, your processed foods, get away from the chips and the late night snacking. Get out and exercise, breathe well, drink more water and get rid of all of these fashion waters, pops, juices, and things that have artificial sweeteners, flavors, and colors. Start looking at your own foundation, get rid of that, and then we can start to build the true foundation for health that will give you the legacy that you need for yourself and to teach your kids how to have a better life and how to be healthier adults. I hope you found this helpful. Please go ahead and leave, leave a comment for me so I know exactly your thoughts and how it helped you. And by all means, please share and please subscribe to our page. All right, we'll see you on the next one.